What is up guys, Greedy Knight here with a guide on how to hunt Magnamalo using Charge Blade. Word around Reddit is that Charge Blade has a good matchup against him and the times I've seen for the hunt are sub 10 minutes. He is difficult and not everyone can slay him, but hopefully this guide will help you achieve that goal as a Charge Blade user. Let's get started. You have a 15 minute time limit, so take the route I'm showing. He will either be in the ruined village area or at the top of the mountain, so climb as necessary. Whenever he leaves the mountain, take the route wire bugging through to the marsh area, snagging spirit birds as guidance. You can weaver and ride Rathian, but it's only required for sub 10 minute runs or if you want to make your run easier. Jump attack off your Palamut, then pop a counter peek on the roar, both aiming for the head. You need to deal 80 riding damage to get the ride, so if you need to, pop another counter peek if you miss the head on either attack. Spam A to do the tailspin, then evade to cancel the end line. Repeat until you have the full bar for the finisher. If you have wire bugs, you can squeeze in two more attacks before popping the finisher. Otherwise, settle for one attack. If you get Magnamalo into a riding state, drag him over to Mitsutune to get free damage and a potential ride on the water fox. Staying at full health is required because Magnamalo likes the combo attacks. Heal whenever you take damage if you can't avoid getting hit. If you're struggling with him, try to survive 15 minutes as practice. You can attack but your goal is to fail the quest by timeout, not by carding. The only way you can do that is if you learn his patterns. Practice until you can consistently survive the entire hunt without carding. He has more than 10k health so you should aim for 1000 damage per minute if you want to slay him. Kit out your item wheel with healing and anything useful for Magnamalo. You only need a minimum of one loadout but if you really want to optimize your loadout you can use all four shortcuts giving a max of 32 items you can access with minimum button presses. If you know how to drop an aerial bomb, assign barrel bombs onto your shortcuts. Playing online has the unfortunate reality of if you do not cart, your teammates will. Soloing is a better option since you can control how many carts you get and you actually learn how to fight him. Also, it's a complete clusterfuck when your teammates bring in Mizu and Rathian to kick Magna's teeth in. If you don't know his attack patterns, don't guard point or counter peek his attacks. Just stick with turtling behind your shield or walking out of Magnamalo's range. Stepping to his left or right is your best bet to avoiding most of his moves. During a knockdown or KO, reposition to his face and align your super so that it's parallel to his spine for maximum damage. This ensures you land all of your files from your super. Whenever possible, hit Hellfire spots because they receive increased damage. Hellfire Blight is like Blast. Roll thrice to get rid of it or you can input any silkbind maneuver to drop it like a landmine. Use advancing morph for dropping the blight with your weapon drawn. Once dropped, only Magnamalo can interact with it by stepping on it and taking 50 damage. The first blight explosion he takes will cause a trip so take advantage of it. Magnamalo has 4 states, base, hellfire, enraged, and hellfire enraged. He only stays in base form when the fight starts or when he's tired. Hellfire just turns on whenever he has purple flames on his arms, back, and or tail. He will inflict Hellfire explosions during this state. Enraged is whenever the Scarlet Rose flames come out on the back and tail. He will perform specific moves which I will discuss later. His Hellfire Enrage state is whenever all Hellfire sections of his body are covered in Scarlet Flames which has the benefits of both Hellfire state and Enrage state. Magnamalo has a bunch of moves, but the ones I'll be listing are the ones that will cart you if you have taken any amount of damage, assuming you don't have defense or health buffs. The single slash double claw slam is a combo move. If the first hit doesn't cart you, the second one will. He will only do the single slam in base state, while always performing the double slam whenever his arms are lit with hellfire. With good reaction or prediction, you can guard point one of them, but you should always counter peek the final move because he leaves himself open afterwards. His claw drag is pretty telegraphed, he starts it up by winding up his left or right claw before dragging it across the ground. He does this in base and hellfire state, causing multi hits in hellfire state. Guard point in hellfire, counter peak in base. Spinning tail swipe is capable of carting multiple hunters if you're playing online. Magnamalo spins in a 360, swinging his tail, has similar range and duration to Valstrak's wing spin. He performs a double spin, but both are really telegraphed. The hitbox is towards the end of the move, so guard point when he is facing away from you or just walk out of range. His backflip tail swipe comes out pretty quick. He does a short leg compression into a tail slam followed by a backflip. 
The move is vertical, so if you are standing to his side, you are safe. If you are facing him, counter peek when he tail slams or guard point when he starts his backflip. His charging tail thrust forces him to enter a stance before lunging and thrusting. There's a forgiving window for the charge, so once he stops to thrust, you can move to the left slash right or input a guard point slash counter peek. The Hellfire Tail Thrust is what he combos into from the Hellfire Clouds. The Hellfire Thrust has extended range from the Hellfire shot from his tail, hence the name. Don't get hit by the tail because it's treated as a 2 hit move which will cart you. Dive Bomb is a 2 hit move that will cart you, one hit from the charge itself and the second from the active explosive Hellfire. Guard point this move if you can't roll out of the way. The Dive Bomb will have too much knockback so you can't super out of it but at least you won't cart. Big tip, a well-timed flash bomb can snipe Magnamalo out of the sky when he's diving down. The Hellfire Charge will cart you if you get hit by any part of the move. He goes Super Saiyan Rose and bum rushes you thrice in all three of his unique states. The scary part is after the charges, he can chain a tail thrust after he runs past you, so it is better to avoid the rushes and prepare to counter peek or guard point the tail thrust. Like if this guide helped you, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want to see more content like this. Now go timeout on Magnamalo. All of these components of both Charge Blade and Magnamalo must be executed with minimal mistakes. You will have to sharpen your gameplay if you want that brag worthy kill screen. Keep on hunting. See you in the next one. Greedy Knight, signing out.